your installation here? Sure. These are, I think I've seen photos of these in large and wide. And they are giants, literally, literally giants, two of them. Ernest Hemingway, closest to us, and uh, Ezra Pound, waking up and having a thought, being sort of startled. Hemingway's eyes are open, kind of rolling, maybe daydreaming or wondering why stuff in this bag. Um, they're without bodies. I was going to ask about that, and actually. This yeah. is as if they are literally. It's past their time of by the passing of the deceased, but they are at the end of their. These are sort of taken from the end of their lives. These images are. Uh, Hemingway cut his hair short before he committed suicide. But, and as we found, had his hair quite long. So it's it is. Uh, it's almost like uh, stories. You know, like around the campfire. Oh, nice. Does that fall into it? It has that aspect to it. But more than anything, again, it's, it is uh, the two of them remain lifelong friends, which is unusual. Uh, and this is just almost a. Uh, well, not living in the end of the world, but this kind of uh, um, life goes on around them. They're not participants at this point. It is sort of reviewing their lives, really, with each other or just alone. So they look, the uh, sleeping bags mm -hmm. look a little bit like either iron lungs or perhaps <laughs> um, spent uh, painting tubes. They do, that's really pretty good work, spent painting tubes. It is as if they uh, just exhaled oh. and these are just dropped down on them. Their like, bodies are not necessarily comfortable, but it is, it's, it is uh, casing-like, as you're talking about. It's womb-like as well. Mm. Maybe you almost see consciousness like. So symbolically, it plays a lot of roles, but I think you can certainly see Hemingway in the sleeping bag in the mm -hmm. Big Adam series. The story's going to go Maybe not so much as a family, very much more urban life person, but still, the two of them together. See this. Pillows, so it's not totally rough. They're not completely roughing it, yeah. But there is a sense that they're both spent. Like these are maybe perhaps are well, thinking about the iron lung, perhaps like deflated last breaths. Right, um, but in, in their faces you don't get a sense of desperation. No, you There's don't. Calmness, at least, Ezra Pound's face is sort of startling. I mean, he's again he's been taken out of the lung. Consciousness maybe been thrown into another his eyes. And I think it's actually, I, I don't know if it's startling, but I don't know if you see that there really is not a body in this mm -hmm. arrow of the head as well. The bodies are less obvious. They are old men, and their bodies are less than what they would be anyway. Um. So then essentially we are meant to imagine bodies, but they're very much dilapidated. Well, maybe, I mean, you see the shoulder, the neck, the screen, the bag. But the other, I know I started this. I really didn't want these to become a warrior. And often you'll see them right over there. It's a whole body dress in a state of refinement. And uh, this is an added element. They become much more fragile until like, your life becomes fragile. It's not the body that you see. But the hand is most recognizable immediately with the two of them. That's where expression comes from. And uh, that's, that remains. Do you see these as almost death masks, or...? Um... Well, they're a little more, um, you know, the death mask, mask. I mean, the, the, the flash is put over the face to make the mask. These are much more, the hair is there, the beard is there, all of that's not abstract. It's there, so it would be impossible. And there is a sense of animation in the faces as well. They just have the eyes expressed. You don't sense perhaps that moment of giving up, that moment of ending. I don't. This is not a struggle in the two pieces. It's almost mixed up. It's 